Loretta Trutide represents hope, but also it has familiar barriers. It has so much potential life-changing weight loss with patients in trials losing more than 70 pounds on average. Quality of life impacts could be enormous, but it has side effects, manageable for many, but dose dependent. And the real key is accessibility and pricing. In all likelihood, Retta Trutide will be the most expensive obesity drug in Lily's portfolio. Or Forglapron, the new oral pill, which has not been launched yet, is expected to eventually be the entry level option once it is approved or potentially a good maintenance option with the lowest price point. That bound or terzepatide, we know and love, that's what I've lost my weight on, currently sits in the middle. Current GLP-1 users have to ask whether or not they should switch, whether or not they will switch, and that will depend on personal response, side effects, insurance coverage, and doctor's guidance. And for many of you out there that have run the course of terzepatide and you're no longer losing weight, this might be the next step. Reditrutide could be the tool for patients who have not yet reached their goals with current GLP-1s, but affordability may determine whether it's an option or just a pipe dream. And while many people are genuinely excited about its potential, it remains to be seen what share of the market it can capture and how big it will ultimately be. Pricing could well be the factor that limits its reach.